Zimbabwe's biggest technology company has become the first network operator to enforce the new regulations. At least one million unregistered SIM cards were cut off last week. Its statement following the deactivation reads, in line with statutory instrument 95 of 2014 promulgated to ensure that customers of mobile networks are registered on the network, Econet has and continues to ensure that its customers are registered on the network and that their details are correct and up to date. Where we identify customer details not complying with our validation exercises, we are mandated to deactivate them after all efforts have been taken to ensure that they comply. Subscribers are required to register by supplying their names and identity card details. Notices to subscribers to update their details or register their lines was issued a few days before the disconnections. Not enough time, according to many who fear the financial losses. Imagine someone in the village who receives school fees and subsistence money via EcoCash. What will happen to them? What about the funds that they may have received and may not have collected? They should have given a longer notice period, like a month, not just a few days. Zimbabwe has seen exponential growth in mobile penetration, which is above 100%. But millions of SIM cards are at risk of being cut off. There's been a flurry to replace disconnected ones, but the upswing in business for thousands of SIM card vendors is a double-edged sword. Those who are buying are buying fa faster. And some, some lines like Telesa and, and uh, Net1, they're now going on a, they are being bought a lot because the bad lines are, clo are being closed. However, it, it has affected us because some customers now, they, they don't believe us when we say these are genuine lines. Thousands of unemployed Zimbabweans have started vending SIM cards and often don't complete the registration process, which has been blamed for fueling the increase in unregistered lines. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.